President Biden said this. I made it clear that if they go into Rafah, they haven't gone into Rafah yet. If they go into Rafah, I'm not supplying the weapons that have been used historically to deal with Rafah. It's just wrong. We're not going to we're not going to supply the weapons and the artillery shells used that have been used. Artillery shells as well. Yeah, artillery shells. Iowa Congressman and retired Air Force officer Zach Nunn joins me now. Congressman, good morning to you. This legislation, how big of a deal is it and where is it going? Carly, this is huge. Look, right now we have a situation where Israel has been under siege and every day that we withhold weapons from them being able to prosecute this war means more people are going to be in danger. This includes Israelis, it includes Palestinians, and ultimately it means the United States itself is under siege. We have to be able to eliminate the head of the snake, which is Hamas, directly funded by Iran, and we have to do it Diligently. Look, the American people have spoken. We have passed this through the House, the Senate. The president himself signed this. Yeah. So now holding it hostage is a way to basically try and pressure our strongest ally in the Middle East, Israel. Not only is it dilatory, it's clear that he is being pressured by folks inside the White House versus actually listening to what the American people want. Well, so President Biden made this ultimatum. Members of Congress are responding, both Republicans and Democrats, mm -hmm. including some members of the squad, including Congressman Jabal Moman, who wrote, organizing is working, protesting is working, keep fighting for a hashtag ceasefire now. So clearly this move by President Biden threatening to withhold the weapons is fueling these radicals on college campuses uh, that are causing chaos. And Carly, let's not forget, we still have American hostages on the ground inside Gaza being held by Hamas. And Hamas isn't just taking Americans hostage, it's taking a series of nations, including the Palestinian people, who they're using as human shields. The idea that we have college campuses out there who are supporting a terrorist group, they're taking people, U.S. citizens, and using them as human shields yeah. should be frightening for all of us. So tapping into your military background, if yeah. President Biden does withhold these weapons shipments, what does that mean for the war? Well, let's be very specific what these weapons are. These are 2,500 pound bombs. They're very specific. They're meant to target as smart weapons to eliminate terrorist cells. The threat here is if we don't have these smart weapons, we're going to go back to the type of mass casualty dumb weapons. The real threat is that if the United States can't support Israel, as Israel said itself, it's going to have to fight this war alone. Yeah. And that means not only do we get cut out of the opportunity to bring Americans home, right. it means we're going to have a lot more casualties across the and board. And Israel has a separate weapons depot, essentially, right. devoted to Hezbollah that they're essentially tapping into to fight this war. Apparently, right now, they have enough weapons to go into Gaza, but if they get to a two-front war, then what happens? Absolutely. And let's never forget that Israel is surrounded in a pretty rough neighborhood, right? We have yeah. Hezbollah directly to the north. We have an Iran IRGC element whose entire intention is to send real threats into Israel. They're not only going to be able to defend themselves, the sooner we're able to prosecute this, and Rafa being one of them, it means eliminating the direct threat. To let it go down the road ends in situations that we've seen Biden do before as a veteran of Afghanistan who helped evacuate folks. This is not a guy who's into long-term strategic thinking. This is a guy who's trying to answer the mail with a 20-something staff and kids on college and, campuses and you know that he's what? given into. Congressman, you were right to bring up the hostages because they were not mentioned when President Biden did that sit-down interview right. with CNN. He doesn't bring them up enough. We have American citizens who are still waiting for their kids to come home. Yeah. And you have to ask, as a parent, what would you do to help protect your kid? And that's where the focus should be. That's absolutely right. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. On Carly, thanks so much.